Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Edgar, and in this installment of the Polyrhythm series, we're going to talk about 6 over 5 and 6 over 7. Now, in case you don't remember from previous episodes how to figure these out, the easiest way to think about it would be, for example, for 6 over 5, if we took a bar of 5, 4, we split it up into groups of 6, so 16th note triplets, and played every 5th one. That would give us 6 equally spaced notes over the course of 5 equally spaced notes relative to our pulse. Now the same thing is true for 6 over 7. Same idea, let's take a bar of 7, 4, cut it up into 6s, and play every 7th one. We'll have 6 equally spaced notes over the same period of time as 7 equally spaced notes relative to our pulse. We're going to use the same sticking that we've used for most of our 5 note groupings so far in the series. We're going to use right, left, right, right, left. Now that you have the idea of that, let's check out some of its permutations. Let's move the six around. Great, let's do the same thing for seven. This time we're going to use right, left, right, left, right, right, left. And of course, some of the permutations. These, of course, were these polyrhythms in some of their most basic form. Make sure you spend some good time internalizing these rhythms, because in the next episode, we're going to apply them to the drum set in a whole bunch of different ways. <clears throat> I'm Aaron Edgar, and don't forget to subscribe. And of course, check out my website at aaronedgardrum.com. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye.